Hi, I'm one of millions affected by Winter Storm Shirley. Let's talk about it. Welcome everybody, I'm RJ of the Nerdy Brew and here on this channel we do talk TV movies and everything in between. But today is a special episode, it's more like an update episode, it's Coffee Talk where I just wanted to bring to you guys an update and also my experience during uh, the outages of Winter Storm Shirley out here in Texas. Now, for me personally, my situation was not as severe as other people um, throughout the state of Texas that are going through horrible situations right now, but um, it was a definitely trying time for my household and those who are close to me. Um, the situation, I'll, I'll say, from my experience, it started out on Monday night, around midnight, and um, before then, there were rolling blackouts, um, power was flickering, and then that was around 9 and 10, and then midnight, uh, everything went completely black. Um, and the temperature dropped um, where I was at. It got extremely cold. Um, had to work the fireplace. Um, and when we started out with the fireplace, um, we had wood. But our wood was too big for the fireplace. So I had to get an ax from my neighbor. And um, he's somebody who is uh, just a, a, a youthful individual who's, I, I'm not gonna say necessarily prepared for everything, but if you, he's, he's a neighbor that has something in the shed. Let me just say that. If you need to go to that neighbor, if you say you need something obscure, he's the guy who has it. So I said to him, I was like, I need to chop this wood. Um, so I ended up chopping the wood and getting the smaller pieces um, so that can it fit into the uh, fireplace. Um, and we were going hours and hours and hours without power. Now, there were people here in Texas that I was connected to that ended up either having um, uh, outputs of power or um, people that, that ended up getting uh, power periodically um, and some people that continually stayed without power. Um, and before I get into the information and the facts about the situation, I'm just bringing it out to y'all. So in the fireplace, we had some food and uh, to, for us to get the fire started on that wood, um, I had no lighter fluid. So what I had to use these whole couple days was some Bacardi. I had to sprinkle some Bacardi, took a swig, and uh, that's what helped me manage <laughs> through this whole ordeal was a sip of Bacardi with a little bit of ginger ale while also putting it on the firewood. Um, and that was able to keep the fire flowing. And when I was standing in front of the fire, it just made me think of those movies or even in Rocky with his brother who was singing doo 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 <laughs> And I was just like, yo, I can't believe that I'm really huddled over a fire like that. But um, yeah, that was one thing. We also had to shovel snow. I had to shovel snow, boil the water from the snow. I had to filter it with um the strainer. Watch the the uh, other sediments and dirt come out of it. Um, reclean that water again through boiling. It was it was wild. Um, and I used to, and we used that water for also the toilet. You know what I'm saying for the toilet situation, the flush as well from you know using the snow. Um, it was very outdoorsman, very pioneer like, um, very 1879. And I could definitely see why we have advanced to have our modern amenities and comfort, you know what I mean? Um, to not live that way. Uh, so I, I did go out that following Tuesday um, to see if there was anything that I could find. I went to Walmart. Walmart was a line and they were allowing people in like 10 at a time um, to do the shopping but uh, resources were scarce. Um, just driving from different areas and to see that different areas were just black 
um there was no lighting at, at all um that was a thing and then also with that there was uh just very little resources of just searching and finding did we we had what we needed and we were able to finish this week but just in case if things were to take a turn um resources were definitely scarce out there in the public um, um my network was bad um the network was bad uh it was um sporadic as well <clears throat> um i was not able to stay in touch with uh everyone like i wanted to um i had to conserve the power on my phone with not being having access to power so i would have to charge my phone in the car and with me charging my phone in the car would be a long period amount of time um to even just to get to like 36 percent was probably like two hours due to it being cold in the car um and that was just a period of time that me and my family will probably warm up to try to deal with our devices but that was um you know something that was a hardship as well and just staying in the cold um using papers you know um and it was just a very um turbulent time that we were underprepared for and the thing about that is i'm from new york <clears throat> and being in new york just because that i was able to be like that or to um understand what the snow is like or cold weather is like um i live in a region where a blizzard winter storm is not a thing so um I just know moving forward of how more prepared that I think everyone needs to be. And speaking of that, I just want to bring to y'all attention. That was just my experience. Um, and I'm probably skipping out things um, on how difficult it was. But I will also say that there were 300 cases of carbon monoxide poisoning. I don't know if that was in Houston or in Texas overall, but there were 300 cases. And the thing is, with the powers that be or the principalities not giving out, because a lot common sense is not so common where people weren't taught certain um, things that you should do or not do when it comes to um, different hardships and experience that, that you never had to contend with. Um, so there were people who needed to warm their children there were people that needed to uh, have some type of warmth whatsoever. I feel like, you know, if you're going to put the grill outside, <laughs> put the grill outside, close the door. Don't burn, you know what I'm saying? Don't don't burn things that have chemicals in it because it has toxic. But um, some people don't know that and, and, and desperate times call for desperate measures and people just ended up having that ignorance and not in a slandering kind of way, but just that they didn't have the know with all to um, avoid uh, doing those kind of things. So they ended up getting poisoned or um, getting tremendously ill. And there's some people who didn't do that. There were people who legitimately died from hypothermia. There were people who um, died, you know, without the proper resources of being hungry and cold. Um, and, and pipes were bursting. Um, I had family members who have had their pipes busted um, to flood the house. Um, I talked to Couch God, who was also part of the channel. Um, Couch God didn't have any internet. That was um, fortunate for him. Um, but his co-worker, his whole house, got um, the roof caved in. The roof caved in from the pipe busting. So now that man is without a home. And the problem with that is that, well, as I said again, the powers that be in the principalities did not have a successful emergency plan um, to uh, warn the people. Because people are investing their money and trust um, to, and, and also the powers that be are in those big positions to uh, have the oversight and the care and the trust to handle things um, for the masses, you know? So just for them and also Governor Abbott to fail, place blame 
and not take accountability and just say, look, this is what we need to do to reinforce. And the thing is for myself, you know, with me being from New York, um, they have snow plows and they have truck drivers that go out and lay salt down on the roads. Our roads had nothing but black ice. You couldn't leave, you legitimately couldn't leave. You know what I'm saying? Um, Cause my street was frozen over completely. And with my street being frozen over, I couldn't get to the family that I could have, who I could have seen and got to, to even help. Um, because that would have been hazardous to even be on the road to get to one place to another place. You know what I mean? So that was um, a problem. And if you don't have things delegated, because anything can happen with um, mother nature. So if you don't have things delegated um, to certain events, then you're gonna have another catastrophe and another crisis where people fail. Like you could have definitely had the National Guard out um, going door to door, dropping off water and bread and cheese. Like, <laughs> like if, if that was, first of all, y'all have the equipment and the resources to do that. Um, you had people that was legitimately stuck in their cars, stuck on highways, um, and if they ran out of gas, if they ran, out, yeah, if they ran out of gas or stuck where they're at, that is a bad, ex bad, extreme experience for them where they might not come out on the other side. Um, and, you know, I have friends that had dealt with rolling blackouts. So that means that they did have power for a, a period amount of time. But for me and my family, we didn't have power for 72 hours because um, we got power back yesterday, which is Wednesday before me recording this. And so then um, we didn't have any internet, um, but there, there are people that are still going without, there are still people that are definitely affected. And I want to tell y'all something that, that just definitely bothered me, excuse me, was that I had um, on my social media page, there was a girl that posted a video uh, I got power, I celebrate. And it really bothered my spirit because not that I was going without, but you don't need to put your good fortune uh, to broadcast out while other people are having their misfortunes. Um, I felt like that was very distasteful. Um, and that kind of shows her character. Um, because there were so many people that were suffering and there are people that are continuing to suffer um, as the storm went through. Um, yeah, and just seeing, I, I was able to have my family be warm. Look, we cook pizza on a pan uh, uh, in the fireplace. We wrapped it up in foil and had it cooked. It was amazing. It turned out crispy. It had all the flavor and deliciousness of a pizza that you could have, but we cooked it so it wouldn't get soggy and go bad. And I cooked it in the fireplace. So yeah, that, that, that popped off. Um, we uh, cooked hot dogs um, in there and also um, boiled water, used the lighter on the gas stove. Um, our oven did not work, so we did use the fireplace. So yeah, there was a lot of things that was definitely backwards um, due to uh, contemporary issues of what we have now today. Um, but uh, I, I feel like the, the powers that be failed um, immensely um, when it comes to this crisis. Um, and Texas is not on the same grid of um, the East Coast or uh, West Coast. And um, I, I just feel like Greg Abbott um, did it utilize um, the resources properly um, because just last week he accepted green energy and nothing is wrong. I, I'm a proponent and I subscribe to green energy, but I also feel like there needs to be a place of being practical and understanding that it's not just you. And I always felt that Greg Abbott has been a coward um, during his whole run as governor, um, especially with this, uh, the virus situation as well for trying to open up the whole state when Houston had the highest record, 
of um, cases, right? And so with people having these cases, um, we did not go by guidelines of 25% capacity, six feet, you know, um, some businesses don't, aren't allowing masks, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm not going to call anything out, but there are people still living their lives and gaining um, sickness um, because uh, there are very little restrictions. And I'm not saying I'm opposed to not having the economy be open, but what I am always for is the sanctity and the safety of human lives. Um, and it has been definitely negligent. But what I'm saying is to be oblivious to something that is very real for to have an attaboy is not sufficient enough for the sake of the people that live in the nation. Um, I had to just go there. I usually don't. Um, I am pretty um, neutral when it comes to these kind of things, but I just saw or, and I was one of the, the people that experienced um, uh, a hardship of walking 15 miles in the snow. It's like now, but I lived in New York, so I did walk like miles one, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To get to a bus stop where one bus stop wasn't covered with, you know what I mean? So I know how to deal with it. But what I'm saying is that it just wasn't me. It was so many people that weren't prepared and people who aren't in the experience, like let's say people who live in the North, who's like, why didn't you do this? Or why didn't you do that? Yo, everybody has different lived in experiences where they don't need to be prepared for certain things. And I just feel like, as I said, the, the, the higher powers, they failed to not have the foresight and the insight to prepare the region better. So um, I will get back to my regular schedule programming um, probably as soon as I can. Um, as I said, we're still struggling with water here. My network is still kind of shaky, but um, I just wanted to give you guys an update of thoughts, feelings, um, brief experiences that I that I went through um uh, that yeah that's what's going on you could definitely go into the news and see that some experiences are better than others with other people um friends and family of mine are doing okay and still going without some things but um that's kind of what's going on uh I'll be back with Mortal Kombat as soon as possible um just bear with me um oh before I go um, we're actually like 90, yeah, we're a little, we're legitimately 90 subs away from, uh, a thousand subs. Um, so I want to do something. Um, and if you have any ideas of what you want to do, this is a long video, so y'all might not make it through, but if you have any ideas, um, please let me know in the comments below of how you guys want to celebrate. But with that being said, I'm going to bring this video to an end. And even though people are going through tough times right now, I still want you to be you, do you, see the bigger picture. Have a fantastic day because you deserve it. This is our channel. Peace.